This guitar was handmade in Lander, Wyoming by my grandfather, Harry Harding Sr. in 1936. Harry was known to make a number of fiddles and mandolins for Lander residents, and in fact a local family recently donated one of his mandolins, and that's on display at the Pioneer Museum here in town. However, this is the only known guitar that he made. Here it is on our wall next to a mandolin made by my uncle. I don't know much about the materials the guitar was built from, but my dad believes that Harry used reclaimed wood when possible, and that the front and the sides of the guitar body were likely made from the wood of uh, crates that Depression-era apples used to be delivered in. You can see the triangular inlay work around the sound hole and pinstriping around the edges of the body. The fret wire placement is not exact, but it doesn't seem to matter since the intonation of the guitar is spot on. The black shoe polish that my dad used to color the fingerboard has worn off easily over the years. Harry Harding was a carpenter and built many of the houses and businesses in early Lander. He was born in 1874 in Lander, where he lived his entire life until 1958. So I never got to meet him. I'm told that he was a quiet man, and in his spare time, he would go out to the shop behind his house on Lincoln Street and build these amazing items out of wood. Many of his projects were built out of cedar, and as you can see, the back of the guitar is a beautiful book match display. I've heard that the cedar may have been reclaimed from a cedar fence post, but I've also heard the opinion that it was from a local cedar tree. The neck and headstock are made from oak. This is unusual for a guitar and typically maple is used. Moose Stavich had noted that the body style is modeled after a late 1800s Martin parlor guitar. This smaller size makes it a bit of a challenge for someone with larger hands to play. In the 1980s, my dad remembered that this instrument had been laying broken in my aunt's closet for many years and was likely never played much. My dad, Don Harding, was also an extraordinary wood craftsman, and since I was a student of the guitar at the time, he repaired and refinished it for me. For years, the guitar had old dead strings on it, and it didn't sound very good. Last year, I decided to restring it, and I was amazed at the tone. It seems the more I play it, the better it sounds. I'm very proud of this guitar. Here's a demonstration of me playing Rick Emmett's Midsummer's Daydream. Mm -hmm. 